What's your prediction for the fight? Prediction? Yeah, motherfucker. Pain. Mike Tyson, Jake Paul. I, first of all, I'm, I'm trying to understand the why. The, the why for Mike more so than Jake. I can see Jake because it's a, it's a good name, right. you know what I mean? But but what, what people see, now listen, I could be wrong, and I hope that I'm wrong because I love Mike Tyson, but you know, I see what Mike does when when they show clips of him, right. but that's of a, of a man in his 50s, and that's only a 10 second clip. Right. Can he do that for three minutes or two? I don't know what they're fighting. And that would, that's what I'd be interested in seeing. Right. And, you know, for a guy like Jake, if he's smart, he know the last thing that a, a, a fighter loses is his power. Oh, right. So my thing is if his, if his coaches are telling him right, they say stay away from him, make him use his legs, and then just try to wear him down, you know. Because if you look at Mike at the end of his career, his legs are not greater now than they were at the end of his career. Right. So, you know, I mean, like I say, man, Mike is a legend. You can't ever take none from him. I consider myself a protege of Mike. He gave me the confidence and courage to be a young man and try to accomplish the things that he did. So not taking anything away from him, but at the end of the day, you got a young man and, and Jake Paul. And, you know, Jake is, he got those fresh legs, man. And we can see, we've seen him staying active versus Mike hasn't fought in many years. So, you know, no matter how hard you train in the gym, when you get into the fight, it's a whole different thing, man. So True. we'll see what Mike got. You know, I, I, I hope that at the end of the day, they both walk out there and they give the best that they got and they both leave with their faculties, man. Sounds good. Uh, I'm giving mine to Mike Tyson. You know, that's my favorite fighter, so shout out to Mike Tyson. But shout out to Jake Paul for uh, going in there, taking the risk and being a true champion, trying to uh, dethrone a legend. All right, upcoming fight, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul. Who you got? Man, yeah. Mike got that one hitter kid, quitter power forever till he till he, till he passes away. Um, and so at the end of the day, um, I don't think that that um, Jake Paul's ever been hit with anything but that type of power. And so I think that. Um, you know, Mike still got it. So we we'll always have the power. It's the last thing to go yeah, for us fighters. The power, the power, is, you know, is the last thing to go. And at the end of the day, I think that Mike is still, you know, you know, relevant when it comes to, you know, him putting it on the show and and uh, being able to to knock a dude out doesn't, you know, never been really hurt. But Mike Tyson, he's got that power that you, he's never ever in his life, in his life, in his life, in his life, in his life in, ever felt. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I want Mike to knock Jake Paul out. Uh, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of disrespectful of Jake, though. He's saying he want to be a real boxer, but he's challenging these retired fighters, or this is like the first real boxer he really fought. Tommy Fury don't really count. And this, he retired, what, 30 years ago? So, I mean. Sounds to me like Carmelo disrespected Mike Tyson, not Jake. No. I'm saying. <laughs> he was calling no. out Nganu before, now he sounds like he's calling no, out Mike no, Tyson. This game. Mike passed his time. Everybody knows if they fought when Mike was, you know, really him. Come on, Jake, Jake would die. So, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like Tyson could make. <laughs> Tyson can maybe pull it out using his skills. I feel like it had to be early though, like one or first or second round, if Tyson gonna win. So yeah. Well, who you got then? I got Tyson. I mean, Mike, it's Iron Mike, you feel me? He's a legend in the sport, Jake, he's a YouTuber. I feel like if Mike jumps on him early, once you know how to box, his power is never gonna leave him. I feel like if Mike jumps on him early, you can get him. But if it goes past the second round, Jake is gonna get him. Oh, you think Mike's gonna get one line? Mike is old. Yeah, he's old, but I don't know if he's 
don't know. You're not. 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 you are not 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 you are
can't bet against Mike Tyson, man. I love Mike Tyson, one of my favorite fighters of all time. He's 30 years older, but you know he's been in there with the best. He knows what it takes, and and Jake Paul is he's, he's too uh, too inexperienced, I think. I think Mike Tyson is going to catch him and stop him. Mike Tyson, Jake Paul. Mike Tyson at the end of his rope right now. Yeah, Chris smoking that weed to win anything. So, so that means you picking Jake? I'm picking Jake. Okay, I told you. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't give like a fuck. Who says I got Jake Paul by knockout. Easy choice. Look at the. I, think it's I don't think it's out. easy, but. Hey, so we got KSI picking Jake, picking Jake Paul. That's I crazy. I think he's gonna knock out. What do you mean that's easy? If you <laughs> no. if you walk around with a hooker in your hand, all guy. No, I said KSI is picking Jake Paul. What? That's racist. <laughs> I didn't say he looks like KSI. I, I didn't. Well, I know, but Jeff, Jeff doesn't. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. We're great, no great, you can get online. Go to the general and save some time.